What's up guys, this is Josh from Keep It Tacky and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys how to set up a static IP address on Ubuntu Server 18.4. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do before we get started is talk about how things have changed in Ubuntu 18.4 as far as networking goes. Um, they introduced a new command line network configuration utility called NetPlan. Um, and it allows you to easily manage and configure your network's settings. Uh, each interface can have its own configuration file. And I believe the format is uh, a .yaml file or yaml file. And each one of these configuration files are stored under uh, forward slash etc forward slash NetPlan. And you can create a separate configuration file for each interface on your system. So if you have multiple network cores, you can have um, multiple configuration files for each one of them. They are, and they'll all get read by the utility. Okay, so I already have my test server up and running. It's Ubuntu 18.4, fresh install. And the first thing we need to do is find out what our interfaces are. So if we type in IPA and press enter on that, that will tell us what our interfaces are. Um, and this is the interface that's connected to my router and it's pulling the IP address 192.168.10.131. And DHCP is handling that right now. And we want, and what we want to do is basically set that as a static IP address, so we could do port forwarding or whatever we want to do. So, first thing is to move to the directory uh, where we can set up the configuration files, which is under etc netplan, and press enter. And if we ls this, you will see that there is one already there. This file was created during installation of the uh, server and it's set up to use the ACP. So we don't need that anymore. But what I want to do is kind of make a backup of it. I'm going a, I'm to a rename it to um, something that, that is not uh, read by NetPlan. So I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to move it. And then I want to name it uh, 50 whatever dot bc dot bk up press enter on it. And that's basically, I'm just making a backup of the original file. That way it's not there and it's not read by a uh, new plan. So now we want to create us a brand new file. And I want to name it uh, 01-netcfg.yaml and press enter on that. And I forgot to do sudo. So sudo. There we go. And if we ls, you'll see that the 50 cloud, whatever, uh, has been changed as well as a new file has been created. So. Next thing we want to do is modify this file so we can use uh, whatever text editor you like. I like Nano because it's easy and straightforward. So you want to open this file up. So the first thing you want to type is network and colon. Press enter on that and we can do a space um, for the next thing. Next thing we want to type is version colon two. Press enter. Next thing we want to type is Ethernet and a colon and press enter on that. Next thing we want to type is the interface name. So, um, and since I copied it earlier, I could just paste it in and put colon behind it and press enter. Next thing we want to put in here is tell it that we don't want DHCP turned on. So DHCP four colon no. And you wanna put a space in there. Ah, and that's one thing I forgot up here. You need to put a space behind it. That way it can read it properly. 
all right now we want to get into our addresses so it's basically address addresses colon and then you want to put this within brackets so you uh, open bracket and then you want to do 192.168.10. And I want to give mine eight. And then what you want to do is put the subnet match behind it as well. So slash 24. And you can find that out by finding out what whatever is on your network or whatever you use on your network. And then do your close brackets and good to go on that line. Press enter. Now you want to set your gateway. So you type GAT4. And then colon. And you don't have to put this in brackets. This is one thing you don't have to put in brackets. So it's 192.168.10.1. And if you don't know what that is, like I said, you can find it on your... Uh, if you modify your router to use a different IP address, it's, it's all depending on what you set your network up as. Um, like what type of IP set the, you're using on your network. So. so the next thing you want to do is set up your name servers. And then uh, so you can basically type name servers then colon. And then on the next line, this is where you want to actually put your server name. So we could give it a little space in there and just type uh, addresses. Colon. And then you want to put these in brackets as well. And I will just use Google servers just for this demonstration. And then what you want to do is put a comma behind it and then you can do the next 8.8.4.4 and then you want to put the close brackets and then pressing on that and now we are done we've completed the configuration file so depending on your text editor uh in nano you just hit Control x and then press y to save the changes to that file and press enter on it and it has saved that change now that we have a configuration file done we can apply the changes that we made so if we go sudo net plan apply and press enter on that and if you see if you see any errors there that mean it didn't accept your configuration uh, file that you created because it's not going to give you any output at all unless something fails and i forgot since i'm ssh into it it's going to kill my connection because the ip address changed uh, so i'm gonna have to reconnect to it so let me close this terminal and open up another one clear that out I don't like that um, let's go SSH uh, and we know what the IP address is because we set it uh, to what we wanted and this will let you know if it works right here or not so if you type 192.168.10.8 and press enter on that and yes it's working I'm going to type in our password to SSH into it. So even though we were able to log into it, I still want to check and see what the IP address is um, by running the IPA command again. And as you can see, this is our IP address. So now we have that static IP address that we're looking for. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.